Hey guys, in this video we're covering the wireframe modifier. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. Alright, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, start a new file, go up to your file menu and pick the option for new, general. You don't need to save the one you were working on. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about the wireframe modifier. So let's go ahead and delete this default cube. Shift X, press enter to delete, then shift A, and let's add an icosphere. Now with the icosphere selected, go over to your wrench icon for the modifier properties, go ahead and click on it, and then click on the add modifier dropdown. And in the generate tab, all the way at the bottom, let's click on wireframe. Then you can click once in space to deselect and zoom in a bit to see what's going on. So every edge is going to be turned into a little bit of geometry with some thickness, and then the rest of this goes away. So this is kind of a cool way to create a quick cage-like shape. Now, over in the right-hand side where the wireframe modifier is, the thickness is sort of obvious. If you click and hold down on it, you can make this thicker or less thick. And the offset is just like what we had with the solidify modifier, where we're either averaging about the center at zero, meaning that we're offsetting a little bit inside the normal and a little bit outside the normal direction. Or if we go all the way to minus one, then we're only going in the negative direction of the normal. Or if we slide all the way to one, we're going in the positive direction. Now, the only other option that's really worth mentioning at the moment is try unchecking replace original. And with that, you get the wireframe where all the edges are, but you then keep the original geometry or all the faces and surfaces. So there can be times that this is a cool thing to do as well. For now, let's check back on replace original though. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now back to the lesson. Okay, so while the wireframe modifier might seem pretty self-explanatory at this point, let me just show you one more thing that you might not think of right away. So let's click to select this and then let's delete it. Shift X and press enter to delete it. And then shift A and in the mesh menu, let's add a plane. All right, with that plane selected, Let's go over to the modifier icon and then click on the add modifier dropdown and let's pick wireframe. And if you click once in space, that might be roughly what you expected. Let's actually increase the thickness just a little bit so it's a little easier to tell. I'll have to select that again first and then I can increase the thickness so it's a little easier to tell. I'll even click and drag it a little bit. Okay, so the wireframe worked on the four edges, fine. Let's go ahead and press tab to go back to edit mode. Remember in edit mode, we can see that plane again, and it still is something we could adjust. And one way we could adjust it that would directly affect what we see with the wireframe modifier is to subdivide the surface or essentially add more edges to it. So go ahead and right click once on the surface and pick the option for subdivide. Something we didn't do before when we subdivided faces is that in the adjust last operations panel, you can go ahead and click on that to bring it up and you can actually adjust the number of cuts right there. So go ahead and click and hold down and drag that to the right a bit, not too, too much. Something like seven is what I've done here to quickly subdivide it seven times. Now press tab to go back to object mode and notice what happened with the wireframe. So what's cool here is whether you have a three dimensional object like a cube, or a two-dimensional plane, you can add edges and directly affect how that will look. And so if you're doing gates and fences and cages and other things, you can think about the edges as directly applying to new wireframe elements in the wireframe modifier. 
okay, there are some other things here, but they won't really come in handy until we work on more complicated examples. So for now, you know enough about the wireframe modifier and you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.